Hi there, number 15, Spatula Swipe. I'm so glad you could join today. Artistry by Rita, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the colors and I've mixed them further. So my cell activator, about four to five ratio to one of the um, Amsterdam black to Floetrol. Floetrol is the four or five. And it's a pretty thick, pretty thick consistency, guys. Pretty thick consistency. Okay. Okay. That's the cell activator. This is a ton of colors, but I will endeavor to let you know what's in here at least because sometimes I just keep playing till I get a color I like. Okay, so. That, I started off with Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. I added a little bit of the cobalt blue. I added a little bit of my Sherwin Williams Payne's Gray, which is the base, um, two to one Floetrol, a little bit of GAC 800, and um, I'll show you that. Because I had a hard time finding Payne's Gray, and, I, and just to lighten it up a bit, I did add a little bit of white because it dries so dark and I love this I love this color wet but it dries almost black so I might even add a little more white okay so that's and then to this one as well I added some green grass uh, craft smart uh, grass green and then I have some art mines soft gloss onyx so I, this is just a bunch of colors just keep going until I get it right, until I like it. This is a nice little purple, and I will look for a spoon. It's so pretty. This one is uh, Liquitex Basics, Basics Diazmine Purple with a smidge of crimson. Okay, and this is Cobalt Blue Artist Loft with Full Fall 2 to 1. Now, I made this kind of a rose gold, I added more crimson. And it ended up being kind of pinkish, so I'm gonna not use this. It's kind of fun to play with your gold sometimes, and I'm going to end up using a couple of golds. Here, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Champagne Gold. And there, you know, there's a little difference between them. And then Folk Art 14 Karat Gold. So I'm gonna try these two. And and we'll see what happens. I'm um, using a 16 by 20 I'm reusing. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I thought I'd speed this part up. And there is my Payne's Gray, my Sherwin Williams Payne's Gray that I've mixed uh, two to one Floetrol and a little bit of paint. And I did squirt in some GAC 800, Golden's GAC 800. And um, making sure my sides have good coverage. And some people say you shouldn't torch house paint, but it's not as thick as a pillow for a bloom technique, so.
the purple color a gold and then top it off with that greeny blue. The cell activator I did spread out where the other colors I drizzled on top. And it was kind of tricky, I have to say. Um, and as you can see, I didn't put the whole thing down, which is why I didn't get color. I'm experimenting, I've never done this before. So uh, doing it this way, putting the cell activator and color on the instrument rather than on the paint. But I have to say, I do like the way it turned out. It just takes some getting used to. And then I think I tried putting some cell activator on this spatula. But because there's not a lot of paint actually on the base coat, it didn't really react and do what I wanted it to do. So now I got a um, piece of page divider, which is something I, I use a lot for swiping. Put all my colors on there and <laughs> promptly dropped it in the <laughs> painting. <sighs> funny, funny girl, Rita. Anywho, so I decided to start using that as well, a combination of both the spatula and um, the plastic. And it was tricky with the plastic because it wasn't, it was flexible. So I guess I could have used a cardboard, but then it wouldn't have lied flat on the painting. So I have to get myself a bigger offset spatula is what I have to do. And there you go, see now I'm spreading it out. I'm getting some traction and some cells there. And clearly not enough because I'm back to using that little piece of um, the plastic page divider. And I did find that the first swipe, I left too much paint. The second or third swipe with the plastic, with all the paint on it, I let it sit for a few seconds before I started um, moving it around. But you can see the cells and even some clouds are being formed. And here I'm just showing you a close-up of you know, how I layered the paints. And I believe that's the cobalt blue. See? And I think here I just did a different sort of thing. I just threw a few colors together and I'm probably getting the gold here, yeah. And I felt that the gold was really actually giving me um, a lot of the cells. I think it's that deco art champagne gold but while i'm immersed in the painting and the music's playing in the background i don't pay attention i'm sort of in the zone and i'm just doing what feels right and i'm not sort of documenting or overthinking i'm just going with it and that's just the way i work um I know pore art is probably a little more scientific in that you should break it down, but this is a, a new technique and so I'm just having fun with it today. And um, just seeing where the paint takes me. And here's another close up. As you can see, I spread my cell activator and then I just drizzle a little of the colors I'm using on it. Now the problem was that was too thin, but I still made it work. 
And here's a slow motion version <laughs> of it. Just so you can see, just drizzle a little paint. And the tricky part was flipping it over before it dripped everywhere. But look, look at all the, um, look at all the variation. And there's movement, but there's, you know, clouds forming. And I think that's, once again, because I used that gold that was a different consistency. It was slightly thinner because it was in my stash. I stopped, um, oh, yes, help me name this. Because there are so many names that come to mind when I'm making this. Uh, let go, um, be centered, give it over, the craziness of life, right? It goes in 20 different directions as moms, as women, as wives, as daughters. Our life spirals in so many directions in a second. We're doing one thing, we're thinking about another. Hence why I put the music on when I'm painting and I don't overthink. I really just let go and um, dance, <laughs> which I fast forward so you don't actually see it. And um, I just get into the other side of my brain and just go with it. And that's when I find my best pieces uh, are made. And here, see, I'm just starting to play, um, embellish, whatever you want to call it. Whatever tool I have closest to me, I grab, dip it in the paint, and start creating the spin-off of going round and round and round. And the gold against the Payne's Gray looks so wonderful. I'm so glad I um, decided at the last minute to change um, from that homemade quinacridone nickel gold, I, can't, I don't know the name of it, the gold and pink. Um, I make that just by adding a little red to some gold and I quite liked it. Just embellishing, spraying the color out a little bit. And this is the fun part. And sometimes I'll do this for, my goodness, a long time after I've stopped videotaping. Because, you know, I'm sure you'll get bored otherwise watching me do this. Um, once again, I'm a new YouTube channel. And I would so appreciate if you could subscribe, like, comment. Um, I you know, need that in order to move up in the... YouTube algorithms which I don't understand but they're there they do exist and I need you to help propel me forward uh, I am trying to do videos at least two to three times a week sometimes it's just a matter of finding a spot in the house where I have complete quiet and it actually takes quite a while to put these videos together and edit them and um, you can reach me at artistry by Rita with an I, artistry with an I by Rita at Facebook, at Instagram, at gmail.com, and of course this YouTube channel. I have not yet created the Etsy channel, but um, you can always reach me. All my art is for sale. And I do so appreciate you taking the time with me today and watching this 
video. It's so funny. I had this idea in my mind. And I have to say, this has exceeded my expectations. And I just love, love, love the golden hair. I really do love the idea of putting the paint on an instrument and putting it down. Now, I saw Tammy Anderson do this as well. And she put it in lines. I think the cell activator at the top and then the colors at the bottom. Anywho, I love her, Tammy, Gail Burston, and I saw a gentleman do this online as well, and I have to find his name so I can give him his kudos to, um, I think I'm just about at the end here, even though I did come back from upstairs. Um, a half an hour in and I added more gold to the bottom closest to me because as I was doing the video I said no nope, needs a little something something there it's so much fun it is my happy place where I just give it over listen to wonderful music and just keep going as you can see it seems like I just don't stop when I start playing. I, 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 I just keep going and going and going. By the way, I created this little station. I saw it from Cause Creations. Um, I am uh, using a washing machine basin. I think it's 30 by something, 30 inches by 22 inches, something like that. I put some wood on it across it made sure it was level and now i don't have to level my paintings anymore but it does have a tendency to stick so then i put cookie cutters underneath it after i've done my painting i raise it up again with cookie cutters because they have a dull side and a sharp side and um, i just let it dry here and uh, that's it once again please do like subscribe comment, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and um, all my art is for sale. Hope you enjoyed this video. I can't believe I'm still going. I tell you, it's a funny thing. I can go and go and go. And here is the close-up, look at it, oh my. It's just beautiful, I love it. Please do send me a comment, send me an email, let me know what I should name it. Thanks so much for joining me. You have yourself a great day. Artistry by Rita, ciao.